Whether you call them refugees, asylum seekers, or migrants, to us, they are just people. And in 2016, MSF rescued over 20,000 of them trying to cross the Mediterranean. Here we present 10 facts you need to know about Europe's so-called migrant crisis. These are the conditions that people are forced into to try and get to, to Europe. It's not acceptable. In the first month of 2017 alone, MSF saved over 700 lives. However, last year, over 5,000 people died crossing the Mediterranean, making it the deadliest year on record. Contrary to popular myth, not all migrants arriving in Europe are young, fit males. In fact, 43% of arrivals in Europe last year were women and children. Furthermore, families will often send their young, able-bodied men first to avoid forced conscription into armies and rebel groups. And he advised me also to come and job Boko around. I refused. So he told me that if I don't become a member, he will take my life. That is the reason why I run away from home. The day I run away from home, he now came to my, my, my place, to my mother's place, and shoot my mother. refugees are hosted by 10 countries. All 10 are in Africa and the Middle East. Europe, the richest continent in the world, hosts 6% of refugees worldwide. Many people, including children, who have made it to Europe are living in unsafe, appalling conditions. Thousands are sleeping rough in sub-zero temperatures. And even those staying in official camps in Europe are stranded, left to wait in limbo in overcrowded conditions. Eighty-eight percent of children who arrived in Italy last year were without a guardian. One tiny family rescued by MSF was headed by a ten-year-old boy traveling alone with his siblings, all of whom were young enough to be in nappies. Smugglers are increasingly using poor quality inflatable boats from which MSF teams have recovered the dead bodies of people, either crushed by the weight of others or drowned in a toxic mix of seawater and gasoline. People now don't often get life jackets, food, or even enough fuel to make the journey. The top five countries that people are coming to Europe from, Syria, Iraq, Nigeria, Afghanistan and Eritrea are not safe. If you cannot return to your country for fear of harm because of your race, religion, nationality, or social or political standing, you are by definition a refugee under UN conventions. I will never forget what I experienced. I will never forget it in my life. What we are seeing now is nothing new. From 2010 to 2015, the numbers of people migrating worldwide grew by just 0.1%. The abuse and mistreatment refugees and migrants are suffering in Libya means they have no choice but to flee. Because I see human trafficking, I see the buying and selling of women. MSF teams on rescue boats in the Mediterranean have heard horrific stories of violence, torture, rape, arbitrary detention, and forced labor. Our experience shows that the only real solution to the crisis is for the EU to provide safe ways for people to claim their legal right to asylum in Europe. People shouldn't be left with no option but to risk their life and the lives of their children in order to reach safety. لا إما هيك لا إما بدنا نعيش قالوا لنا شهر نتحمل شهر يومين شهرين أربع بس مو والله مصير مجهول ما حدا بيعرفه